What's up, cool cats? This morning I thought about killing myself, and then I jerked off, had that post night clarity, and figured, eh, what the hell? Let's see if we can make fun of some of these people. Ah! COVID-19, right? We're all fucked. We're all screwed. It's infecting everybody. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, not exactly. It's only infected 1.14% of the population. But Tom, that's over 1%. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But when you factor in only 0.04% have died, you're, you're looking at a very small fraction of the population infected with an over 99% survival rate. We're looking at 0.04% of the population dead. Okay, so why are we shutting down the whole country? Why? Why? Well, some would argue that it's just because they want to control us and just see how much they can get away with by just taking away our rights little by little until they can just finally smack down on us and take over like they did in Venezuela, like they did in the Soviet Union, like they did in Cuba, like they did in many countries that had leaders that decided, you know what, fuck this shit. Let's just, let's just take over. Fuck it. Let's just take over. And you people are buying into it. Now, you may say to yourself, you know, Tom, we can't open the country because those numbers are gonna be so much higher. They're gonna be ridiculous numbers. We have a system set up now to where we can contain it. Folks, we're not containing it. We're not, we're not, we're not. We're not, we're not containing it. Look, you had that fucking Democrat that just died, former, former presidential candidate, that just died. Now, I don't know shit about him because quite frankly, it doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that we had a funeral there. I know people who couldn't even have funerals for their family members. I know people who couldn't go to funerals, but because he's a Democrat, it's okay. It's, it's, the, it's the exception. Is that it? Because that seems like the message that they're painting. If they're the people saying we can't have funerals, but they're willing to go for one of their own people, that seems like hypocrisy. Now, at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to just say, fuck it, right? I'm ready to, 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 to take all these people on. Let's just open everything back up. But the kids, Tom, the kids, Tom, if these kids go back to school, they're just little infection minds. They're going to be in our society. And even they're just going to, they're just going to set it off and they're going to make it grow bigger. No, we have pediatricians, pediatrician organizations that have come out and said, you look, guys, look, kids, it doesn't really affect kids. It doesn't like it's it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything we need and, and we've when we know that kids learn better kids learn better when they're in classrooms in person right right we, we know this and the very next day they backtracked why because these fucking liberals attacked them for it these fucking liberals they made them backtrack and now we have a doctor that says, I have a cure, I have a cure. And she's standing, and she's an African immigrant, by the way, an African immigrant. And she's standing and, and preaching this in Washington, DC. And all people can say is, you know, Dr. Demon Sperm, alien DNA, all this shit. They completely ignore all the other doctors standing with her on either side. Why? Because it's political. You see, if Donald Trump is right about any of this shit, then they, they lose, they lose. It's political now. It's all politics. This fucking cat. So, folks, I, I don't know all the answers. I don't have all the answers. But at this point, with 1.41 or 1.14, anyway, uh, folks, it, it's under it's under two percent. I'll have the fucking stats here, and you can do the math yourself. But when it's just over one percent and 0.04% dead, I don't give a fuck. I'm, t I'm tired of seeing millions of jobs get lost, millions of lives wronged. And, and then you got those people at home that, that are just fucking at home like, oh, I, I, want, I want my stimulus check. Oh, I'm losing my $600 a week unemployment on top of additional. See folks, it wasn't just $600, it was on top of the unemployment they would have already been getting. It's, it's, it's not right, it's not fair, but see, you people don't care because you're a bunch of fucking communists. Or you're just lazy. I think, it's, I think you're just lazy. I don't think a lot of you are really communists. I think you enjoy capitalism. I think you enjoy at, at, sitting at home on your iPhone or on your Android and, and you just enjoy 
these companies and sucking on the tit of capitalism until it's time to actually work and to do what's right. Because then it's just, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to let the world fuck me in the ass as long as the government keeps giving me money. Well, at some point, they're going to turn on you. They're going to fuck you up like they did in every other country that has turned communist. I'm not going to lie to you. Editing has made me want to punch somebody in the fucking face. I just cannot stand the state of our country right now. Not so much our government, but all the pussies that vote these people into office. My favorite thing when I go on Facebook is when I log onto Facebook and I just see politics, 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 fuck Trump, fuck Trump, fuck Hillary, fuck Hillary. Now, Hillary lost four years ago, mind you. People are still talking about her. Fuck Trump, fuck Trump, fuck Hillary, fuck her. Like, why, why do I, why? Why do you people give a shit so much? Okay? Why? Why is your whole, like... I, I get you're supposed to you're supposed to give a shit a little bit, okay? But ultimately, if you go to work and do your job and you vote every two years, you're 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 gonna you're gonna be fine, right? It'll work out. Just just do it, do it. And when it's not fine, be ready to flip the table. But just just sitting there and just sharing posts, ten posts a day, fifteen posts a day and just battling and going at it, it's fucking annoying. Like, I get being a little involved in politics, but some people, it's their whole personality. They don't know what else to talk about, okay? And I call those people normies. And you could argue, oh no, because they're involved in politics. They have an investment in something. They, they have a hobby. No, politics can't be your hobby. Why? Because nobody fucking likes you when politics is your hobby. Nobody likes you. Believe me, I know. If you look at my Facebook at 2015, 2016, all I shared on Facebook was was politics. Politics, politics, politics. Everything in my mind. It was news, news, news. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to do it. And now I go on Facebook, I go on Twitter, and that's all people do. If you have fucking hashtag blue wave in your Twitter bio, I don't like you. I don't, I don't like you. I, I, I've written you off my mind. I'm, I'm going to judge a book by its cover right there. If you have hashtag blue wave... If, if you've got any fucking political affiliation in your body, if you got MAGA, I'm, no, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Because that, that's your whole personality. It's, 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 your whole, it's your whole personality. I don't understand how people can be happy. How can you be happy? How can you fucking be happy? Because you, you wake up and you look, go online and it's just, wow, the world is ending. Look, the world is ending. Why don't you just have fun on the way out? Okay? And worst case scenario, it ends. But you knew that already. Gosh. I've been all in my bag. You been all in my business. You be all in your feelings. I've been all in them trenches. I've been all in my bag. You be all in my business. No, they notice me flexing. Fit in all in my fitness. I've been all in my bag. You been all in my business. You be all in your feelings. I've been all in them trenches. Uh.